everybody, welcome to all about piggies. I'm Jen. I hope you guys are doing well. If you're new, welcome. Make sure you stop and hit that red subscribe button. So today we're going to do another new treat. Now this one's been all over the guinea pig world. It's extremely popular, so it's hard to tag just one person. But basically what we're doing is we're making guinea pig kebabs. That's what I would call them. Obviously we're not going to bake or do anything like that with the vegetables. But I did find a little small snowman. To be honest, I don't have that many small cookie cutters, so boring. I got cucumber, green leaf, and then a orange bell pepper. And then I don't have any like kebab sticks, so before anybody starts freaking out, I will be watching my piggies while they eat this. So I'm just using these plastic reusable straws because I'm a rebel. Okay, so don't freak out. So first thing I'm going to cut up my um, pepper and try to stamp it out all the veggies with this so I'll let you guys know how it goes I'll be back so I cut my cucumber and then blah use the not blah use the <laughs> cookie cutter I just tore the lettuce because nobody's able to tell the difference and then I also cut my pepper um now like I said, don't freak out because I'm using these plastic reusable straws. I'm not going to do this to the boys because I know the boys won't care. They're just kind of like bashful so they're not going to come on camera. But I want to show the girls on camera eating it so you can tell if they like it or not. So, oh yeah, I was going to get some banana peel. Let me grab that first. I got banana peel, orange pepper, green leaf, and some cucumber. Now, before you panic, I'm not throwing away the scraps my guinea pigs will eat them because I'm not wasting vegetables when there's a vegetable crisis out there maybe there's not but okay now I'm gonna put them on our straw and then I'll see you guys in the piggies room they are in my cage practically there's brownie so the banana peel just falls off FYI on that one I'm gonna have to hold the kebab stick hi babies in order for it not to fall I'm afraid it might be a little high, but whatever. They'll figure it out. She's like, what's the point of this, Mom? It's kind of my opinion, too. So normally my piggies like to hide and eat. So, we're going to have to see. I'm going to have my tripod in here. Nope. Hi, Louise. Bonnie's looking for it. Okay, maybe I'll just hold it and let her eat. Because she's like, um, it's way too high. What do you think? Okay, we're going to just set it on the ground for her because, well, how do I feel about it? Hi, Louise. Hold on, you guys. Come on, Louise. Thank you. Okay, so now it's just laying. Thelma, are you going to come out? Nose. I know my guinea pigs like the vegetables. I don't think it's the vegetables that's scaring them. I'm pretty sure it's the kebab part. They've never had this. Just, yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to just take it off the kebab then and let them at it. And all of that. Hold on. You guys are going to become part of that. So, and let them at it. So, now oh, Brownie's coming. She's like, sure, why not? What do you think, baby girl? She's thinking this is a waste. Alright, well, I'm going to end this video here. Disappointment alert. Um, if you guys have any tips and tricks on it, make sure you guys check back tomorrow for the writing part. Now they're coming. I need to back in their cage again. Look at all that poop in that corner. They have their favorite pooping spots. That would be one of them. So, yeah. Brownie's like, why such small chunks? So, I'm going to end this here, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye for now.